Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Patterson. I'm a uh, Perth-based landscape photographer who has a passion for capturing landscape images within our great state. As you guys know, both Lee and Joey are extremely passionate about their photography and they've asked me to conduct a small series of Photoshop presentations for you guys. Um, Joey's quite kindly given me a photo to work up and we're going to work on this photo I'm going to show you uh, that you shouldn't work on your original photo, how to add contrast easily, how to use auto colors to boost your colors quickly. Uh, we're going to also learn um, how to boost colors selectively, how to lighten and darken selected areas of an image, and I'll show you a quick and easy sharpening tool. And also, finally, I'll show you how to display your photo for the web and we're going to do that over three presentations. Okay, so uh, again, thanks to Joey for providing the photo. Let's get stuck into it. So here's the photo. It's a, it's a great photo as we can see, um, but as with any photo, we can always make some improvements. What we're going to do is take some of the blue out of this photo, we're going to boost these reds here, we're going to put a bit of contrast in all these photos, um, the blacks here, we're going to make them blacker just so we've got some shadow in the photo as well because shadow always looks good in photos. But before we do any of that, uh, I always take a, a copy of the original photo because we don't want to edit our original photos. So on a PC you quite simply click Control J and now you'll see we have a layer. Uh, I'll go into layers in a, a different presentation, uh, but suffice to say, at the moment we're not working on the original photo. So, I want to add some contrast to this photo because it's looking a little bit flat at the moment. So it's quite easy to do. We come down to the Create New Fill or Adjustment layer, select that, select the curves and again you know there's there's books and books written about curves but to make things nice and easy let's just say we want to apply a medium contrast to this photo and as you can see it makes the coral stand out a lot more if you want to see what it looks like again without the contrast adjustment layer on there simply just take the preview toggle off Turn it on again, turn it off again, and you can see, you know, that makes a fairly big difference. Um, don't be scared to play around in Photoshop, so have a look at all sorts of different presets. Uh, linear, but, f but for this one, uh, medium contrast is what we want. And just hit OK. Now, uh, a quick and easy way to boost your colors in separate presentations we'll go into more detail about how to boost your colors but just a really really quick way of boosting your colors is to go to image up here select adjustments uh -huh. we need to create another layer before we do that so to create another layer simply go shift control alt n and to fill that layer with what with the layer below, Shift Control Alt E. Now we go to Image Adjustments Auto Color, and as you can see, it has boosted the reds. If you want to see what it looks like without the auto color on, just come over to the right hand side here. You see the little eye? Just click on that eye and you'll see what it looks like without the colors. Click on it again. And mainly if you look at the corals and the fish, you see a big difference. So that's it for the first presentation. In this presentation, we learned that you always work off a layer. You never work on the background, uh, the original photo. You always do Control-J to create a layer. We always put 
uh, contrast into a photo. So we learnt that if we click on the create new footer, sorry, create new fill or adjustment layer and select curves, we can use a number of presets to get the sort of contrast that we're after. We will go into this uh, in more detail in the next presentation as we lighten certain areas and darken certain areas. We also learnt how to create a new layer by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, N and to fill that layer by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, E. Then we learnt how to quickly boost colours by going to Image, Adjustments and then Auto Colour. So thank you very much for your time everyone. In the next presentation we will cover how to selectively saturate colours, i.e. the red fish, the greens and the coral, some of the blues around here as well. We'll learn to darken and lighten selective areas of an image, so we will be darkening the blue and we'll be lightening this coral a little bit. Uh, we'll also do a sharpen on this photo and then we'll present it for the web. So thank you very much for your time everyone. If you've got any questions please feel free to email me at jamie at jamiepatterson.com.au. Thank you.